Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna paint for you a beautiful sunflower on this gourd so we can attract more birds over here, which we have plenty, but I want them to have a little nest for them. So I'm gonna do something beautiful. All right, this gourd, I made a little hole over here with the drill. It has a little machine that you make it. And over here, two sides, I made little ones. So I'm gonna try to make some flower over here around it. So, and then I'm gonna make just leaves. So we're gonna start from here. We're gonna make like a little garden. You will just put the pedal and you turn around. Let's make some little white. Let's see how it's gonna do on a gourd. This is an acrylic paint. So we have to use a little bit yellow with orange. I mix a little bit yellow, yellow ochre, the acrylic, whatever yellow they have. Around here, we have to put a little bit brown, like a seeds it is. That's a big sunflower. Over here, we're gonna do smaller ones. And I hope that it dries fast. Usually acrylic dries faster. I'm gonna put a little bit red later on on top more so it will show much more. Now those sunflowers, it's gonna go between each other, which is okay. There you go. Now I'm gonna use the orange and red together so it will show a little bit more because it looks like a little bit too pale between the gourd and the flower and then we will go again back on top let's do this way it's better for you to see Okay, let's try this and then we go back over again. You just press and go gentle like this. Press. Okay, let's I'm gonna put some little bit. I know it's the go the flower is yellow, but we have to do a little bit red so the color will show a little bit. Let's put leaves a little bit. Usually the stems are... They have big leaves.
let's do this way and then go down it's really hard to paint on a gourd I thought it would be very easy there you go Put one leaf here. All right, we're going to mix a little bit red with the leaves because. It's only green, it's kind of boring. And the color is absorbing too much on the board. But There will be plenty of things growing all over. All right, we're gonna do more yellow color on top so it will show the petals much better. Now we're putting yellow a little bit with white and I think on top of each other, maybe it will bring the color, the gold and the sunflower, they are looking Pretty, they are close to each other. It's kind of hard to show. There you go. Okay. I think that we mixed a little bit green in it. That's why I guess it's holding the color. We have red color. I don't know where did it come from. That's too much green. I think it's a little bit better. Now let's do this one. It's okay when they mix together. There we go. Now we're 
going to put some white on it. Let it dry, I guess. We have to let it dry. We're going to put some brown and the gold. Let's get another brush like it's pouncing. We're going to mix it with a little bit red and brown. And that's a pretty big sunflower. This is for our little birdies. They're going to be very happy. That's a little too much. Let's get another brush. It's kind of still wet, let it dry a little bit. But I think our birds are gonna love it. Let's go one more time over. They are between each other. Well, it started to show a little bit the color. I guess color on top of the color, it did better. I guess sometimes some colors are not as good or we have to do few time on top of each other. for some flower. This is for our beautiful birds. I guess while we're putting color on top of the color, it's doing better. We're 
תודה דלית על בית Let's put one more time a yellow color here. I guess while I'm doing color on top of the color, it's working good, but a lot by itself on a gold, it's not showing anything. Let's put a little bit yellow on top. I think more we put a lighter color, it will be better as a green. Because with the lighter color, it will show Mixing the green, the yellow, and the white together. Actually, we have to do this from the bottom. We have a two leaves, and then a bunch of leaves coming out. Well, for the birds, definitely it's a nice garden. Let's put a little bit white color with this green. And let's put some little green here and there. There you go.
we'll take the red color and we'll put little flowers, little red flowers. They might need a little pretty flowers here and there. Anybody will be able to do this. It's nothing special. It's just for the little birds to have a little color. Yeah, we can put one by one too here and there. It will be nice. Just a little red here. It's okay if it goes on top of the flower. Some flower they have a couple petals. Some flowers they have just one or two. Put a little bit yellow in the middle. Even into the red ones. Here we are. Well, when we put in the lump, it looks like it's looking better. When we rub it on it, It's fading it away. Let's do this. Let's put a couple white flowers here. Around this one. I think the bird is gonna like his garden. They're gonna love their gold. Let's put a couple alright. Maybe we need a little bit baby breads we put the lines like this actually it needs brown or green doesn't matter and we'll stuff with the little baby breads with the little white flowers here and there to give a little bit color to the animals. Red flower here, around here. It's very hard when you are doing yourself Nobody's videoing you. There you go. Let's keep the the wood. It looks very nice and beautiful. I think it looks nice. Let's put a little bit of white here. Then 
there's another one here. I guess acrylic you have to do a few time on a gold. This is like my second time I'm paint, painting a gold. I never done it. But this is nothing really special. It's just for the little birds. And I think the bird is gonna love it. Let's put just a little bit like a highlight, a little bit white around the brown. You can hear the bird's voice. We have so many birds around here. And let's do the other side. Just very little tapping. There you go. Thing looks beautiful. We will leave it just the way it is. Here it is a little garden. The birds will enjoy it, which always my birds goes in and out, but I said I'm gonna paint it. It's kind of cute, nothing special, but we give him a little bit color in his home. We have too many birds comes and goes, comes and goes. We raise them and then they fly away. They stay for a few days and then they say goodbye. That's it. Well, thank you for watching. So if you have a little gourd like this, paint it, nothing special to have, just a little color on it and the birds will enjoy it. Well, thank you again. Bye-bye.